The special theory of relativity allows for time travel, but it is only into the future and you cannot come back. This one-way time travel hinges upon the fact that when a person travels faster and faster relative to you, to you it will appear that her clock ticks slower and slower than your clock. At everyday speeds, these changes are so small we do not notice them. But as the person approaches the speed of light, the changes become so great uh, that a form of time travel we call the twin paradox occurs. So let us say that you and your twin, well, it does not have to be your twin, it could be your friend, but both of you have identically ticking clocks. You say goodbye to your friend and you travel on a rocket ship away from the Earth at 80% the speed of light. If your friend could see your clock, she would see it as ticking slower than her clock. When your friend's clock says that you have been traveling for five years, your clock will say that you have only been traveling for three. So now you turn around and you start coming home, also again at 80% of the speed of light. According to your friend's clock, the trip again takes five years. But according to your clock, it takes only three. When you arrive home, you will have experienced a trip of only six years. But your friend will be ten years older. Because you went away and came back at such a fast speed relative to your friend on the earth, she will be four years older than you. You will have effectively skipped four years into the future. You could get onto the rocket ship and skip more into the future, but there is no way for you to go back.